Hi, I'm Ellen and this is Maximum Cross Stitch Power Hour. It's going to be maximum. It's going to be cross stitch, but it won't be an hour. Not sure I remember how to do this. And my glasses are filthy. I should have cleaned them before I started. Just wiping on the dress. How are you? My friends, do you remember me? <laughs> yeah, I've, I haven't recorded since the end of January. Uh, yeah, just no excuse other than um, being overwhelmed. <laughs> um, we've been touring a lot. Um, the band that I'm in, I've been touring the States and Canada a fair bit. Um, although not as much as last year, luckily. Um, lots of stuff going on at home. I'm designing a lot. Uh, we got a new dog. Uh, went to a retreat. Lots of fun things. And I'll talk about all that kind of stuff, sort of interspersed. Uh, throughout this hot mess of an episode of Maximum Cross Stitch Power Hour. Um, well, that was a real Betsy thing to do. Betsy does that kind of thing all the time, don't you, Betsy? Betsy Klager on Instagram and uh, YouTube. Lost tube. All right, I've got some notes, but they are very, very rough. Um, yeah, so let's start from the beginning. Um, I'm going to start with just rambling about some new releases that we have from Maximum Cross Stitch, and then I'm going to get into showing you my whips. Some of them have had no progress just because I focused on other things. I've had to do models and stupid stuff like that. Um, but I'm going to show you anyway, just because, uh, you haven't seen them in a long time and maybe you're interested, maybe you're not, don't know. You have the power to turn off this video if this is boring. Okay, so um, two of the new releases that I have from Maximum Cross Stitch, I think I released them in April. Uh, I don't have the models. Caroline from Evertotes has those models because they're um, available in print form at evertote.ca. Uh, and that's Angèle Armel, or Angèle Armel. Um, I think it's Angèle. Angèle Armel, it's a, a, a reproduction uh, red sampler. Um, and I'll insert a picture of it here. It's gorgeous. And uh, it, I, I, love, I loved it the minute I saw it. And I knew I had to have it in my collection. And uh, she st did a pretty good job stitching it. I wasn't able to find out much about her other than she was an orphan and she lived off the coast of France. All the information on her that I could find, I put in the, I put in the blurb in the chart. But as I say, I couldn't find very much. Anyway, so that was a beauty. And another release that I had in April was the collab with Evertote, uh, Roxy Floss and Timber Yarns for Sampler September. And, uh, and Nick, Nittober, I believe that's what they're calling it for the knitting compo component. Uh, I contributed my chart September's Revenge. And here's a picture of it here. And it's been so popular. I am so excited that so many people want to stitch it. Um, and I can't wait to see people uh, as they progress along and uh, yeah, make it their own if they so choose. Um, yeah, so those are my two new releases from April. Um, 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 I'd like to say I could get all my ums out of the way, but I won't. You guys are understanding and you know how it is. All right, my seven new releases just released like maybe seven days, 10 days ago. Um, and I have them in the back of me here. Just one. The first one is another little red sampler. Hi. The first one is another little red sampler and this is Helene Monk, 1904. Now you're probably thinking, oh, Ellen, that's nice. It's, oh. <laughs> that's a blackberry, bit of blackberry. You're probably thinking, Ellen, this is nice, but there's nothing special about it. Why, why should I bother stitching something that's so me? It's not meh, let me tell you. Let's sing along the alphabet with Helene, shall we? 
A, B, C, D, E, F, X, H, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Y, R, S, T, U, V, G, W, Q, Z. She had no masters, Helen. She decided how she wanted to put her alphabet in. And I love the fact that it's completely messed up, but you wouldn't notice it unless you actually have a look at it. It's a, a quick and easy stitch. This is stitched on, I believe, 36 count uh, dirty porcelain from Roxy Floss Co. available with, from Evertote. And the floss I used is called Bright Merlot, also by Roxy Floss. Print copies are available uh, at evertote.ca and PDFs are available at maximumcrossstitch.com. I think Stacy, the 911 stitcher, has is starting this in, in August, this month. So I'm very excited to see her progress. Yeah, it's a quick stitch and uh, hilarious. All right, so that's one. Uh, I'll do these ones next. I should have just brought these down ugh, before, but that would make me, that would make me organized. And I had to start or I wouldn't. Uh, my next uh, three releases are uh, three in a series, and I call them my Thieves series. The first one is called The Pumpkin Thieves. See the birds stealing the pumpkins? I got the idea for this from my chart uh, for uh, Sampler September, September's Revenge, where there's a bird stealing a pumpkin. And I, I just was so charmed by my own idea. that I had to um, do a whole series of them. So this is the first one, The Pumpkin Thieves. A little homage to William Morris in there from his Strawberry Thief line. The next one is The Honey Thief. See the bear stealing the bee skip with all the little bees? This one just sort of reminds me of the Pacific Northwest, although I don't know why. Maybe all the swirls, I don't know. The colors. Anyway, that's the honey thief. Boop, boop. And the last one so far is the pineapple thief. And there's a little monkey. Say hello, monkey. Hi. And he's stealing a pumpkin or a pineapple. Pineapples are done in Smyrna crosses just to, can you see that? Just to give it some texture, but you don't have to do the Smyrna crosses. So those are my thieves. Those are available in print from evertote.ca and uh, PDFs from maximumcrossstitch.com. Uh, used supplies are available. Um, I use Roxy Floss Co. Uh, flosses, um, and they're avail available through Evertote. The linen is overcast from Cedar River Linen, and you can get that from Cedar River. Cedar River designs.com. Oh, Jody, I'm so sorry. Um, I'll have everything linked below. Just know that. Anyway, it's called Overcast and it's 40 count. All of the thieves were done on 40 count Overcast with Roxy Floss. All right, next. Oh, these were fun to stitch. And everyone's going to be mad because there's so many specialty stitches, but you don't mind specialty stitches. Now, I charted these three. These are my Queen series, and I charted them just straight without specialty stitches so that you don't have to do the specialty stitches. I, I think it adds great dimension to them, but it's up to you. So this is uh, Catherine of Aragon. She was the first wife of Henry VIII. And I use uh, Roxy Floss and one Overa Soie 103. The uh, the 24 leg eyelets are done in Overa Soie 103. I don't know if that's going to focus, but you can see. And I have some beads in there as well. Sorry about the glare. In the middle there. And her dress is Smyrna crosses. And there's a little bit of... Uh, Sorry, getting a call. Uh, what are those in there? 
Oh, I don't know what those are called, but it's in the chart in the in her little headdress thing. Also, I have charted a face for her, uh, for all the queens that's included in the chart, if the lack of a face kind of freaks you out. I know some people don't like that, um, but I didn't want to have a face. Um, oh, someone's trying to scam me, saying that the Canada Revenue Agency sent me money. Very nice. That never happened. Um, yeah, so this is Catherine of Aragon. It is charted uh, using Veriswa 103. I do have a Roxy Floss conversion for this and DMC. Um, there it is. This is on 36 count granite by Zweigart, just plain old Zweigart. All of them will be on that. The next one is Anne Boleyn. This is the only one I don't have a Roxy conversion for. I just I just couldn't make it close enough. Um, I do have a DMC conversion. Um, yeah, this uses uh, 24 leg uh, eyelets. I think there's 164 eyelets along here. Please congratulate me on that. Uh, cashmere blocks, some beads. Uh, more beads. I use Jessica stitches and Smyrna's in there. Uh, Smyrna's and some black work and beads throughout. These are so fun to stitch. Because you get, you get enough of the pattern that you can get a rhythm with it, but not so much that you get bored doing it. I'm not going to lie, the Jessica stitches were a bit of a pain. Um... But once I got the hang of it, it was fun. I taught myself how to do all these specialty stitches by using YouTube um, YouTube tutorials. So if I can do it, anyone can do it. Um, the last one so far is Elizabeth I. Not a wife of Henry VIII, but his daughter. And a super cool queen. Uh, this is down at Navarra Swa, 103. I, do I use Karnak in this one? There's Karnak in Anne Boleyn. But this one uses sheaf stitches, uh, satin stitch, Leviathan stitch, Smyrna's, and eyelets, and, the, and a few beads. But, oh, this is my favorite one. But you don't have to do the specialty stitches if it freaks you out. Just stitch it straight because it's the colors and the patterns that are the focus. The beads were fun. Oh, can you tell these are my favorite because I'm showing them for so long? Um, I will put the links below. These aren't available at Everchote. I don't know if Caroline's going to carry them. I think she's she kind of wants to wait and see if there's a, a big demand. I told her I, did, I wasn't sure if there would be because of the specialty stitches. Um, but if she gets enough demand, she'll, she'll print out some, I think. Um, at least the ones that have Roxy conversions. So the, it'll all be below. So those are my new releases. Yay! Um, let's see what's next. Um, my whips. Let's do whips. First, let's have a sip of coffee. In my mug from Caroline. Hi, Caroline. <sighs> my whips. <coughs> so I'm gonna show you a couple that I'm gonna abandon. It happens to the best of us. And the worst of us. I'm somewhere in between. So this is the 2021 Modern Folk Embroidery Stitch Along. It was a black sampler, month by month. This is how far I got. I just lost steam on it. I find if I don't keep up on the something like that's big, that big, I just kind of let it go. I love, I love the chart and I love the way that the Roxy Floss, I believe I'm using Gomez on it. Oh, I think I put it away because I knew I wasn't going to use it. I think I'm using Gomez and this is an R&R &R, um, Old Town Blend, I believe. I love that 
the way they look together. But I'm not going to finish it. So I'm just going to cut this part off and start. So say goodbye. And I'm sorry, Jacob. I've stitched a lot of your stuff. But this one, I, I lost steam on. My failing. The other one that I'm going to abandon. Where is it? Oh, here it is. You guys, I'm giving up on my heaven and earth designs. Um, I'm doing uh, this one. I don't have the chart with me, so I can't remember what it's called, and it's been probably two years since I've stitched on it. Um, it's a beautiful chart, and I would like to stitch it one day, maybe. Um, but my iPad that I used for Pattern Keeper died, and when I got a new one for Pattern Keeper, it, um, I couldn't figure out where... I had stitched up to on the pattern keeper and that just made it very confusing for me. Also stitching um, full coverage on 25 count, uh, I found it a little hard on my hands. So this is how far I got. I think it was like 12% done. And I'm just bummed because it, oh, it's so beautiful. But if I started again, I'll just do the, the woman in her dress. I won't do like all that brownish background because that's a lot. Oh, I'm so bummed. But I mean, what, what should I do something with this? I mean, could I just make it like a weird little whatever pillow or something? I don't know. Maybe. But then it'll cost me money to have it made into a pillow because I'm not a finisher. So anyway, yes, I am releasing this into the wild. I'm going to keep the rest of the fabric just in case I decide to do another uh, full coverage. I don't know. I'm 57. Will I live long enough to do a full coverage? I don't know. But it also <laughs> uh, frees up this amazing bag that Don Ama gave me a few years ago, several years ago, and it's really big and I love the fabric. So now I can put something else that's fabulous in it. So those two are going the way of the dodo. Now in no order, let's see. I've got a bunch of new starts too, because even though I've been stitching models pretty much all the time, um, you know, you just can't, you can't just stitch your own stuff all the time. It gets pretty boring. So uh, this has been a travel project. I took it, we were in the States uh, at the end of July for about 10 days and this is what I took. It's still on the Q-snap. Um, hardly stitched at all. Hardly stitched at all. It's, it's pretty hard to stitch on the road because we we just don't have time. And when we do have time, I, I choose sleep because you know you get back from the show at one in the morning and you gotta get up at eight. Um, I don't know, that seems like, oh, seven hours is fine, but you, you don't actually fall asleep at one o'clock. So you spend most of the time in a kind of a state of exhaustion. And so if you have half an hour, you have a nap. Anyway, this is Elizabeth Wood uh, from Hands Across the Sea. I will put um, I will put a picture of the chart in here. I, I, I have it on PDF, so. Um, it's fun to stitch. I'm enjoying it. It's a nice travel piece. And it will be nice for my red sampler. I'm not gonna have a red sampler wall. I might have a red sampler section. I am using a uh, 32 count dark beige from, oops, XGU Designs. And I'm using uh, Roxy Floss Co. Color in the, color in the way in the colorway inappropriate, which is my favorite red. So that's that. Oh, this is gonna be a hot mess when I'm done. I just started this one on, what the heck? Who, who are these people? Don't they know I'm filming a floss tube? 
I started this with my friends Jody Trixie Tricycle, also the dyer of Cedar River Linen and Designs, and Gwyneth, who is Curling Stones and X Stitches. We started this on the 13th of July. They're doing this. Jody's already done. Uh, Gwyneth is well underway. I'm doing this one, and I got a leaf. I think I got like a leaf and a bit of the branch done. Who am I even? I'll show you. I am doing my own Roxy Floss conversion, and I am doing it on Roxy Floss Co. Cap Vamp, which is one of my favorite of uh, Carrie's Linens. And see, that's how far I got. Just a, just burning through it. This will also be a good one to take on the road because there's a lot of fill-in, and the counting seems very logical. Chart's a bit, not hard to read, but it's not like you can just look at it and it's, it's super easy. You have to sort of focus a little bit. The chart was a gift from Gwyneth. Thanks, Gwyneth. So yes, that is on my to-do list. These are my flosses that I'm going to use. Roxy Floss Co. They, it, looks, it looks a little ratty, doesn't it? Yeah, you don't mind. You don't care about that stuff. And if you do... That was also a Betsy thing to do. Basically Betsy. All right, next. Oh, here's a, I did get a little bit done on this, but it's such a big ass project that you're not gonna be able to tell. Oh, this is so beautiful. Emily C, I watched Emily C's latest video and she is doing uh, a friend of hers, Lauren. I can't remember her um, Instagram name, I'll put it here. Uh, Lauren is hosting a, a sale called BAP to School, big ass project, back to school sale, where you work on or start a really big project that you wanted to. I think I might devote the month to stitching on this one when I'm not doing models. This is Sarah Brazier, 1829 from Hands Across the Sea. Nothing but gorgeous. So many satin stitches, just a stunner. No red in it, really, to speak of? No, it's like there's a bit of pink, but no red. So, what you know, I think it kind of goes under the radar because there's nothing that just grabs you. But the, those satin stitches, I've, I've seen people who, you know, who have posted on Instagram and those satin stitches all the way around just glow. It's, it's stunning. So I'm doing that and I'm using the DMC. This is on a piece of have it on it? No. Hang on. Let me see. Oh, December 12th, 2021 is when I started it. I am doing it uh, with the DMC on 36 count winter white from Seraphim. I love Seraphim fabric. And this, this is how far I've got. Oh, I can't remember where I was when I got uh, showed you this last. I didn't iron it because I had to start or it wouldn't happen. But look at those satin stitches. My satin stitches aren't particularly grand, but even okay satin stitches look beautiful. It's full of satin stitches. Oh. This was a limited edition, but I think there are still a few copies out there. People might be intimidated by the satin stitches because it is a bit of a floss pig, this one. But it's DMC, you know? We can manage that. Oh, it's so gorgeous. <sighs> anyway, I might uh, focus on that one for the BAP to school sale and just, I don't know, get maybe get a page done. Um, I'll still have lots of models and gift stitching to do. Um, but if I have, you know, an hour or two a day that I can get to that. Oh, this isn't a bag that Rai Rai McGuy made for me because you know how much I love Blue Willow and it's clammy wear. Oh, look at this. Monster. There's another monster. 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 Robot monster. Robot monster. Next. Oh, this is a, in a bag that was gifted to me 
um, by Anna from Stitchy Toolbox. This is one of the very first pieces of Stitchy Kindness I ever got when I started my floss tube. And I keep in this my little um, Chinese dragon that I'm doing. And this is by Sheena, Sheena Rogers Design. I, Ryan gave this to me as a gift. And for some reason, I thought it would be a good idea to do it uh, over one on 28 count mushroom Lugana. So it's very tiny, still in the Q-snap. I'm pretty close to a finish. It's very fiddly. I wish it was in Pattern Keeper, oh, but it's so pretty. Yeah. I. I don't have much to go. If I put it up to the light, I can see the empty spots. But yeah, that's like nothing. I don't know why I just don't finish it. Maybe I'll leave it out. But I want to put it in a, like, just have it framed very close to the stitching with a nice, big, shiny black frame. I think it'll look quite striking, but beautiful. Thanks, Ryan. Again, that's Sheena Rogers design, and I believe she has a shop on Etsy. Uh, with a kit, I'm using the pro, the provided DMC, and again, that's on 28 count mushroom lasagna, one over one. Next, what's this? I just got all my bags out. This is my Evertote bag that Caroline made for me. She calls it my Ellen's Grammy bag. I think I don't know if they have any more in the shop or not, but I love it. It's nice and big. I do like a big project bag. Oh, I know what this is. This is a piece I started with Emily C. Um, a couple birthdays ago, can't remember. It's Lila's Studio, and this is the small version of a larger sample. This is MT, MT 1828. And I've done almost nothing on it. This is on a piece of Mystery uh, Leon Roxy, uh, Roxy Floss Co. And that's as far as I got. I'm doing a Roxy floss conversion. Sort of as I go. I um, haven't really written anything down. I might tear out the pink, the light pink that I'm using because Carrie has dyed a pink that I think might be better than the one that I'm using. Her colors are so good. So good. I think, uh, I don't know where Emily is on hers, but she's definitely further along. Oh, it's so sweet. And it's not big. It's, it's 206 by 140. Okay, it's not small, but it's not a big ass project. Um, yeah. Here's the, uh, the full sized one. And you can get that, uh, the reproduction of that in, by Lila Studio too. Okay. Do. Next. Oh, this isn't really, this isn't really a whip. This is just a planned start someday. This is in my bag that Gwyneth Curling Stones and X Stitches made for me. And this is, oh, do I have the cover sheet? Oh, I'm a ding dong. I might not have the cover sheet. It's Christmas Village by Prairie Schooler. Okay, I'm gonna do some crinkling. Crinkle, crinkle. Yes. It's this one. I have been obsessed with this. I love little village scenes. You'll see more of that later. I want to design a little village scene without like stealing somebody else's idea. But this one is so good. Like those trees, that's just freaking genius. I've got it kitted up with um, uh, mystery. This might be, uh, I don't know what this is. Oh, I have it. It says white tea by color and cotton. I love white tea by color and cotton. It's one of my favorite neutrals. Um, I've got it ready to go. It's not ironed, but what can you do? And I'm gonna do it with a called for DMC. This is 36 count, I believe. It's a, it's not a small project, this. It's, um, what is it? 222 by 170. Yeah, it's not small. But it's so 
so sweet. Yep, yeah, one day. I've got all the DMC all ready. So one day I will start that. I don't know why I'm showing it to you. It's not a whip. Because you like looking across it, just like I do. I don't care. Just show me your stuff. Next. Oh, I think this is one of my favorite Everett tote bags ever. It's just my colors. This is like Elizabeth the First. This is like Elizabeth the first. Oh, it's more green than blue, but look at I should have had her in there. She never got into a bag. I just stitched on her till she was done. Oh, burp. Anyway, what's in here? Oh, Il Fazzoletto from uh, Modern Folk Embroidery. This is another huge piece. It's so beautiful. This is what it looks like when it's done. And here's what it looks like in progress. My progress. I've got down to the bottom. I don't think I've made any progress on this since I last showed it. Um, oh, it's so good. But like, to frame this, I'm going to have to sell a kidney. Be worth it. Oh, Jacob, you're so fabulous. I can't wait to meet you. Anyone going to Jacob Palooza? I am. Week one. I think we still have a few spots left for both weekends. So if you're looking to meet Jacob, oh, the project, oh, I can't, like, Caroline talks about Jacob Palooza in her videos and on her site. Um, it's going to be so good. <laughs> I'm going a day early going to meet my friends, we're going to stitch, we're going to natter at each other and hug each other until poop comes out. Which is not a stretch for Betsy. Anyway, yeah, it's beautiful. I'm doing this, uh, did I say what I'm doing it on? I think this is just a uh, white Zweigart that I tea dyed myself likely 36 count. Oh, I think this is actually 40 count. Let me see. This is on a 40 count white Zweigart, briefly tea dyed with the called for DMC. So again, that is Il Fazzoletto by Modern Folk Embroidery. A beauty in soft purples and golds with a little bit of soupçon of pink. Very ladylike. This, I think, is a new start since I last saw you. I am, I started Anne Webb from Hands Across the Sea. This is what it looks like. Oh, a game with all the pinks and the gold, so delicate. Usually I like the bold, you know, blues and the rich reds and all the, you know, yummy, jewel colors, but I just get drawn to these delicate lady samplers. So sweet. Oh, that pink. Oh, the pink. Um, uh, and here's my, I am doing this on Cedar River 40 count Albarium, and I'm doing in the called for 103s by Eversoa. And here's where I got to. Oh, just like pastel mint, those colors. It's a fun stitch. It's big. It's not a little girl. I enjoy it when I actually sit down and, and make some progress. I'm missing a few colors. That's why the alphabet is a little bit patchy there. Oh, so good. Yes, here's what it looks like again, because you can't get enough of it. Look at that. So see how far up I am? I've only got like, have I, I haven't gone all the way across yet. Have I? Let's see. No, I don't think I have. I'm at the little D. Oh, almost. I'm right, I'm right there. So I've just got that to go and I'm all the way across. I think that's the equivalent of four pages. But it's so beautiful. Crazy burb. 
Hands across the sea. I don't have enough years in my life to stitch all the hands across the sea that I want to do. Anyway. Yes, so that's um, more, more stitching show. Good stitching. I housed this in a bag that Jody Trixie Tricycle of Cedar River Linen and Design made for me with the pocket and the pretty and all the things, little thing for you. Floss and a little doodly do because she knows I make my money in music. Somewhat. It's getting harder and harder to tour these days. I know you don't want to hear this, but um, the cost of hotels and rentals for vehicles and fuel have tripled uh, since 2019, since before the pandemic. So it's almost impossible to tour so that you actually make a little bit of money at the end of the day um, and not have to charge people $120 per ticket because that's nuts. Um, so if you have come out to see us, thank you putting floss in my floss things. Uh, this is another little new start, which I, <laughs> this is what it looks like when it's done. Elevator music, elevator music, elevator. It's a little Chinese lantern by Leslie Tear. This is on, oh here, I don't know which way it goes, this way. Just a little black work study. Yeah. I kind of let abandon this one. I started this in, I think, February or something. I do like doing black work. And as I've mentioned a million times, I like anything with a little uh, Asian flair to it, Asian, uh, Asian design, any Asia. <laughs> From the Philippines to Korea to Cambodia, I love it all. Uh, I'm doing this on 40 count. Uh, this is a scrap of... Uh, lakeside Attic Lace in 32, and I'm using two colors of a Verisois, a red and a black. Don't remember the numbers. Which is terrible because I put the red and the black away, and um, I'll have to match them. This is another bag that Jody made for me. <gasps> it's Yona. I love Baby Yoda. Laura and Laura Duet and I bond over our love of Baby Yoda. Makes me wish I had children. It's, no, it makes me wish I had a Baby Yoda. Nothing makes me wish I had children. Um, another whip. This is in a bag that was made for me by um, Olivia B. She knows what I like. Hi, Olivia. This is Margaret Beatty, 1866, Hands Across the Sea. Very pretty. I got this chart. This was the first run that's missing a big chunk. So I've got the, the errata somewhere on my phone. Yeah, it's missing a big chunk where the rabbit is in the pattern. So I haven't got to that part yet. I am doing this on 56 count Seraphim Dusty Road, I think. Uh, Margaret Beatty. I started... It's on 56 count seraphim in sand dune with a called for a Verisois 100 threes. <laughs> and here's where I got a little bit more progress. I got some of the girl done. You know, and I'm an idiot because this is all kind of full coverage. That whole section is full coverage with the girl and her rabbit. And I just did 56 count to be a show off. I'm not going to lie. It's not because I think it would look better than it would look on 40 count or 32. I'm just a show off. Don't feed my ego. Don't praise me for that because I don't deserve it. It was just me being a show off. Will I ever get it done? Don't know. It's hard to stitch on 56 count full coverage. But it's so cute. Can you see my lighting is a bit ish? 
really see what you're seeing. Sorry, I'm moving it here. I'll try to hold it still. Yeah. Again, another sort of very kind of girly, not girly, just pastel colors aren't usually what I think I would like, but yeah. Yep. So going to get to work on that one again at some point when I am in a place with really good lighting and magnification. I think, is that all the whips that I have to show? Oh, I could show this. I could show this. This is a gift that I'm making for my mom. She doesn't, I don't think my mom watches my floss tubes, at least not 40 minutes in. Um, but mom, if you are watching, maybe just look away. Unless you don't care about being surprised. And I'm not sure when I'll be getting this to you. Uh, this is my first Mill Hill kit. And I think my mom actually pointed this out and said that she liked it. I'm not using the perforated paper. I am using the call for DMC and the beads. Although I'm not putting the beads everywhere. Because I'm doing this on a 36 count and it's too crowded for to, to use all the beads. And in some places it, it's pretty crowded, but I don't mind it. I think it looks kind of cool. So there's where I am. See how like the the trees just look so full of beads, but I like it. The roof is supposed to be half beads, but I'm doing it in the, in the DMC instead. But I think it'll be really sweet. I can't decide what I'm gonna how I'm gonna finish it. Um, I don't think she'd use a pillow. Um, maybe a little flat fold or I don't think I'll have it framed. I think it's too big for like a tree ornament or anything. But yeah, look at how those, those beads just sort of are very dimensional, but I'm not, I don't, I'm not mad about it. Yeah, I'm about, I think I'm about three quarters of the way done. There's still a fair bit of stitching where there were supposed to be beads, but, um, I could finish this in like three days if I, not less than that, if I put my mind to it. Still some beating that I have to do. And it's my first Mill Hill kit and I, I enjoy it. I enjoy it. They're beautiful. Uh, anything else I can show you? Oh, here. I started this little guy too. Rent Creek Educare. I think this is out of print and sought after. Um, I can't remember where I got it. Oh, I think I got it when I did my first big shop at a at a needlework store. My first going to a lo local needlework shop, uh, Acorns and Threads, when I was on the road a while ago, like years ago. And I picked this up. I think it was there. I'm changing all the colors. I'm using Roxy Floss. And I'm doing it on a scrap of mystery linen. And that's what I got. I made... I made an orange cat instead of a bluey gray cat because growing up we always had orange cats. My mom loves orange cats. And I'm going to make the books whatever colors I want. But my mom loves cats and books, so she'll probably end up getting it. Yep. So that's that. I think that's all of my sort of whips that I have any business showing. I'm working on a couple of gifts and I am working on a large model. So that is taking up a lot of my time. Um, do, 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 do. I guess I could show you some haul. We got a new dog. Uh, we adopted a new dog in April. His name is Frank. He is a lot. Um, he's got a lot of energy. He's a hundred pounds lab Rottweiler mix, we think. And he's a puppy still. He's like a year. Lots of energy, um, but so full of love and so full of joy. Um, it's impossible to not love him. Still having a little bit of difficulty uh, with reactiveness to other dogs, but my husband and our dog walker are amazing with, with dogs and they're sorting it out. Um, okay, this is haul and gifts mixed in, so it's just going to be a free for all. Uh, Stitch North, um, I'm going to say right now, I'm not going to remember 
all the wonderful little treats that people gave me. Um, people were so generous and like they were going around to every table like they must have had well they would have had like 200 little plus 200 plus little packages to give to people um and there were so many that I I didn't remember them all but some of them I, I have and some of them are already um tucked away so if I have forgotten you and you gave me something I sincerely apologize I should have done a floss tube right after to you know, be able to thank people properly. And that's part of the reason that it's taking me so long as I'm just embarrassed that people gave me gifts and I won't be able to thank them properly. So if I don't mention you, I apologize. Um, but I'm a ding dong. I did write down that this is from Michael from Texas. And he had a few of these that he was giving out and they're floss rings with all sorts of Texas goodies on. There's a gun. Oh no. <laughs> it's a cowboy boot. <laughs> Apologies. A cowboy boot. A bull skull, a Texas map, a cowboy hat, and this fabulous, what, what is that called? A, not a geode, thingy. This fabulous ding dong thing here. Um, anyway, this is tons of fun. Jingle jingle. I haven't put it to use yet. I've got maybe I'll have a find a sort of a southern kind of uh, whip to put this on. I don't think I have anything that's sort of southern U.S. style. I should. That's from Michael from Texas. That's all the information I have on him. He's a mystery. This was given to me by Larney's Blarney, a little scissor holder. Deet. Here's your card inside. It's, got a, it's just a little mouse. You put your scissors in there. Stitch North Friends, it says on there. Oh, look, see the work that people put into all this stuff? A little clip so you can clip it onto the side of your project bag. Clever people. Thanks, Larney. Lots of uh, floss drops. Um, does this one have, this one doesn't have a name on it who gave it to me, but beautiful floss bing, bing, bling, and a uh, nice sort of really sturdy, a uh, little bit plasticky, but, but not, not like thick. It's like bendable with scissors and doodads, little DMC picture in there. I can't remember who gave it to me. I'm sorry. I know this bag was given to me by somebody named Heather. I remember that. And she made a whole bunch of these with her stamp on it. Thanks, Heather. Maybe Heather gave it. I don't know. I honestly don't know. Um, this one is from Marie from Stitches and Diamonds. Are you from England? Are you from England? Little floss uh, cards, floss drops with a little bit of something sassy. Will it focus? Can I see what this is? Oh, it's so tiny. Isn't that darling? Nice for a little project in a in a gauze bag. Um, pastime pieces. This I think this came in, in the swag bag. I'm not a hundred percent sure if it was a gift or if it was a swag thing. Highway one, Canada, number one highway in Canada goes from one end to the other. Very iconic uh, sign. Very nice, 2023. Thank you, pastime pieces. Oh, Cindy, Cindy Vol Voliva doesn't have uh, any other kind of um, contact information. So I don't know if she has a floss tube or if she's on Instagram. I wonder if that means that, no, that means that I put that on that I remember. It's, it's this little, it's a floss ring and it's got this quilted uh, handle. You can just stick that onto your project bag. It's a nice way to hang on to it. Very clever. Canada Pooh Stitches, who's working on my uh, friendship sampler. Uh, she just posted today, I think she's got making amazing progress. And she gave some lovely frost, frost, floss drops with Winnie the Pooh. 
and all these really fun buttons in a floss away bag. All sorts of little fancy shiny things. So nice. Yeah. All sorts of fun. Thanks, Andrea. Um, where did I get this from? Look at this beautiful floss. DMC. Variegated. I love those purples. I can't, don't know where I got it from. Uh, I got these lovely floss drops with a, I think that's a Barbara Anna uh, photo of a Barbara Anna. I, I doesn't have any, I, I don't have it marked on who it's from. Oh, and this is from Susan the Blue Crab Stitcher. Oh, oh. I, I met Susan when I was on the road. She came to our show in Boston. At the Hamilton, I know. And she gave me a bunch of gifts then, including some lakeside and some little tiny um, Kahana snips, amongst other things. And my bag was lost. Um, a bag that had a bunch of stage clothes and about 50 skeins of uncut Roxy floss and a bunch of Roxy floss linen in case I wanted to start something on the road. So basically like, and, and like stage clothes and clothes clothes, probably about two grand worth of stuff, gone. But she gave me this at Stitch North because I guess she forgave me for being such a poo-poo head and allowing all her lovely gifts to go astray. Thanks, Susan. Um, I got this from Trixie Tricycle. It's my remains of the day lunchbox. And inside there's a magnet to hold needles. I'll be using that. This, oh, I think I got this soap. Did I get this from Dawn? I think I got this soap from Dawn. Mm. Now that I've shown, I can use it. Oh, it smells so good, like chocolate orange almost. Don, thank you. I'm sorry if I screwed up. What's that? What's this down here? A counting pin. Oh. With a little Canada flag on it. Oh, it feels like such a dunderhead for for not knowing who these are from. Maybe if, if that's from you, let me know. So I can thank you, at least to you. Oh, I got this. These, um... Needle minders were made by Butter Art Needle Arts, Jer Jer, Jer Lynn. And look, she did my, um, my There's Always Room. That's the house from There's Always Room. And that's a butter tart. Looks like she's, she's a fan of raisin butter tarts. She also has uh, made me a scissors bob, but it's actually on my scissors right now. So now I can use this too. Yay! Thanks, Jer Jer. Um, oh, so much nonsense. I bought this at Stitch North. You could make, uh, you could have the option of getting a nine patch little mini um, project bag. And so I said, I want with cats. And so Caroline made sure that I got one with cats. She's so good to me. This is a nice one just for like, if you've got a project that has lots of floss, throw that in there. So now I can use that, yay. Um, okay, here's a bunch of stuff, rando, rando stuff here. Uh, I bought this from uh, Colleen Rebel Stitcher. Una's urn, my dog, not the one we just got, but the one we got two years ago is named Una and it's even spelled that way. How can you not love those uh, little white pumpkin guy? Hello. I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> so that's fun. I love Colleen. She is literally the best. 
She's literally the best. And I, I met her. I met her and her wife. They came to our show in Philadelphia. And so, that's Frankie. Um, I met them in Philadelphia, and it was really nice. They're awesome people. I got this at Stitch North. This is from uh, 1897 Schoolhouse Samplers. Is, this is charted with um, Roxy Floss. That's one of the main reasons I got it. But it's Sweet Birds. I know Caroline is making great progress on this. And that is available. That and the Floss Pack is available at Evertote.ca. I jumped on the bandwagon with this one. This is Sarah Rinder, 1841, Hands Across the Sea. This is the chart that helps to celebrate, I think it's 25 years. Um that uh, needle in a haystack in uh, in the Bay Area. They, they've been in business, so they collaborated with Nicola from Hands Across the Sea to release this chart. I love the border, but I think this might have been one of those ones that I should have waited because I don't know if I'm gonna stitch it. Well, you know what, I might stitch parts of it. It's just a little bit too um, yellow and faded. Like the like, you can't even see that there's there's a bird right there. You can't really see it because the colors, you know, it's a reproduction, fade right into the into the fabric. It's beautiful, but I think it'll just be part of my collection unless I have a change of heart. Nothing. Um, oh. Crossword Rise Stitchery. I got this. I had to. Because it's a, it's a little village scene. I love it. I got this and I got the floss pack to go with it. Roxy Floss. Happy Christmas to all. Look at that little scene. Oh, I was obsessed with this. I still want to do it. I might do it without, like I like this oval, the border, but I might do it without and just have it come straight down and just fill in logically, you know? Because it is sweet, but I think I would I would rather have it be square. Um, oh, so, look at those little trees. I'm dead. Anyway, yes, so obsessed with this. This is available at Evertote. Uh, in all of its forms. Chart, floss pack, chart and floss pack, and uh, I don't know what the linen is, but I'm sure that they can sort you out. Um, I was watching uh, Brenda and the Serial Starter for the fourth time. I'm in my fourth time around with them, and they're like at how many episodes they have? Over 100 now. Um, and I saw that Laura had um, had uh, bought this chart, and um, you know the the video was from a year and a half ago. So I asked her if she could lend it to me, and bless her heart, she gave it to me. This is Mary and the Librarian from uh, Barbuda. My mother's name is Marion. And she is a librarian. Might change the yellow. But come on. I couldn't not. So thank you, Laura, for passing this to me. I am excited about stitching this in honor of Mima. Mary and the librarian. She doesn't go by Mary and she goes by her nickname. Uh, what else do I have? What book do I have? Do I have? Oh, I got a bunch of lean-ons. You want to see my lean-ons? Of course you do. I procured 36 count dirty porcelain from Roxy, Floss Co, Evertote. Fabulous neutral, perfect for everything. Not too light, not too dark. This is Oh, does this not have a label? 
I think this might be uh, 40 count porcelain. Let's see. I believe this is 40 count porcelain. I think that was in my order too. So a little bit lighter. Yeah, a little bit lighter. A little bit creamy. Love it. Ah! Now everything's covered in cat hair because I'm not a housekeeper. Come on, 36 count candy apple. Don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but I'm gonna design something with this because this is freaking fantastic. Oh. Foxy Floss Co. And that's pretty true to color. It's vibrant. 36 count Billie Jean. Nice denim blue. The oh, kind of like a periwinkle, but more denim. Oh, it's so beautiful. And 36 count Panettone. Oh, low power mode. Here we go. Uh, 36 count Panettone. I also got some Cedar River linen from Jodi. Trixie Tricycle. I ordered some 56 count Albarium. Don't know why. Sucker for punishment. So beautiful. Just elegant. Perfect. Goes with everything. And some, she threw in a little bit of Tefra in 56 count because she is so nice and so good to me. I will make very good use of this, I promise. What are you doing on my stuff? My cat is coming to ruin my life. Thanks, Jody. All mailed in environmentally sound packaging. That gal walks the walk. Um, some gifts. Some gifts from my friend Ryan. 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 Uh, well, Ryan and his partner gave me this, which is felted wool wrapped around soap. It smells so good. Very Aveda y smell. And um, you just you use it like a washcloth and a and a soap combined. Um, and eventually it just becomes like scrubby mush. So I'm very interested in trying this out. It smells good and it's got got a bird on it so you know it's quality uh, Ryan also got me this for my birthday um, which is funny because he showed this to me and asked me if I wanted it and I said no little tiny skeins of saju cocoons look at those pretty colors I'm gonna make something horrible and give it to you Ryan they're darling. In a lovely little saju tin. I can use it for all my Valium that I need because I'm friends with Ryan. But all is forgiven, Ryan. How do I get that? Okay. All is forgiven uh, because he made this for me. To my dear friend, 2023. I believe this is a blackbird design, and that might be red cedar linen from uh, Jody at Cedar River. But look at how tiny those stitches are, and how perfect! He's such a good stitcher. Oh, it's so good. Fiona, you don't need to sit on my lap. Thank you, Ryan. It's gorgeous. Strawberry, made for me, ER, a gift from Susie freaking Reno. I love it. Not, she told me who the designer was, can't remember. But look at those tiny, perfect Susie Reno stitches. So good and so well made. God, I really respect you people who can sew. I cannot. Oh, thanks, Susie. 
just got this recently, last week. This is um, a gift from Valerie from Stitching in the Barn. She came to our show in Sellersville, Pennsylvania. She had to drive a bit and she brought her some family and friends with her. Thank you. It was so nice to meet her. I love... I miss her floss tubes. Life gets busy, you know. So, oh, and it, she stuffed it with lavender from her house, from her, from her yard. She's like the Martha Stewart of cross stitch, oh, and it's a Beth twist, uh, a little bit sampler, a little bit rock and roll, and there's a lighter and a guitar, music notes, burb, other things that are samplery. Look at the back. Look at the backing fabric. Come on. I love this. Thanks, Valerie. Yep. Uh, there was something else that I got. Oh. Frankie. I wish you lived next door. It's a Beth Twist design stitched by Beth freaking Twist. Beth and Janine came to our Nashville show. They just, they, we were playing Nashville the day before the Nashville needlework market started. And uh, they came to our show. They got off the plane. They came to the show. Like, how lovely. It was so nice to, to see them and chat with them. They're both pretty amazing people. And she gave this to me. And she wrote a little note on the back for me. Oh. I'm a lucky lady that I know and have met such pretty amazing people. Um, my friend Gwyneth, Curling Stones and X Stitches, made me this project bag. Look at it. Monkeys getting hammered in hats and parasols, come on. And it's a good size bag. And I love it. Not only that, look at this card with the little crocheted flowers on it. She's class. She sent me some licorice that I'm making my way through quite quickly. She sent me a little ornament with Red orts. I think these are the red orts from, um, she did the model stitch of Angel Armel. And I think, I think this is the red. I think you told me about this, didn't you? I think those are the red threads from that. So a lovely memory. And she also got this for me. A little antique purse stitched to perfection that she found at a flea market. So good, you know, and in such great shape. I don't know, this is probably 30s or 40s. Yeah, and I'm reproducing this bad boy here. Those colors are so good. It'll be, it'll be a dream to, to reproduce and to stitch. So thank you, Gwyneth. Your top drawer. Um, I think, where's my, my list? Uh, I miss these, you guys. I'm a mess. Um, I know I'm forgetting stuff. Haul. Oh, you know what I, I did get? I won a prize. Um, you know, Emily C. does her duck derby fundraiser every year. Um, she, um, I bought some ducks and I won a prize. Um, and so a lot of stuff was in this, a lot. So I'll show you what I, I got in that, in that prize package. It was all donated by someone, so whoever donated this, thank you. 28 count lakeside linen in wood smoke. Looks like a quarter. A little piece of 30 count putty. I think that's weeks. Um... This is 36 count dapple brown. I, I don't, is that X-Jew? 
Looks like it's from um, Kitten Stitcher. Nice, nicely modeled, beautiful neutral. Um, Mary Ann's Rules for Living by Hands to Work. Sweet little sam sampler. That would stitch up in a GIF. Scarlet House Lucy Owen. Annie Morris from Hands Across the Sea. Herman of Copenhagen. Uh, what is this called? Um, it doesn't say. Sampler 1663 is what it's called. Um, and that's it. Look at those cool colors. Very interesting. I love the band here. You could just do the band. It's quite gorgeous. Um, Jane Allen collection from Hello from Liz Matthews. This is really sweet. I love her stuff. She does really nice things with her reproductions. Uh, Jane Freebairn, 1850 from Victorian Rose Needle Arts. That's really cool. I haven't really looked at this one yet. Interesting. I like those big alphabets. Is that those eyelids? I can't tell. Beautiful. Heart's Ease Exemplar Works, Stone House on the Brandywine. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, by Teresa Baird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, I think this might be an original. Yeah, I think this is an original by Teresa Baird. She does fantastic uh, sort of modern day samplers that look like old ones. Look at these green. Look at this green. So good. This little strip here. Hey, Lori, you can make a drum. That house. Oh my God, that house is mega. Look at that house. Look at it. Again, that's uh, Heart's Ease Exemplar Works. Stonehouse on the Brandywine. It's not done. There's more. But wait, there's more. Harriet Elizabeth Coe by, I think this is Brenda Gervais. Yes, with thy needle and thread, Brenda Gervais, Harriet Elizabeth Coe. Beautiful. I think those are, yeah, those, the big alphabet is uh, eyelets. Gorgeous. Yeah, this one would be fun to do. Yeah. And, and that's that. Well, that's that. That's a lot. So I won a metric crap ton of stuff from Duck Derby. So thank you, Emily. Um, is there anything else that I need to show you? I think this is gifts in here. No, oh, that's just a bunch of floss. Um, oh, I know I'm forgetting something. I uh, will do Wife of the Week and uh, my bit on the side. But I have written down my bit on the side over here and I want to get the name right, so hang on. My Wife of the Week. She's so hot. She's so cool and funny smart, sweet, and just kind of an all-around good, high-quality person. I'm talking about Susie Reno. I bet you didn't know that her middle name was Freakin'. Susie Freakin' Reno. Susie Freakin' Reno. You and the pretzels that you give us when we come through uh, your town. You're my wife of the week. Love you, love you, love you. Mm -hmm. Susie freaking Reno is the best gal in the land. My bit on the side. She likes to give her. She likes to party. She likes to rock and roll. She likes to cross stitch and sit on trains and stuff. Katie Scrim. Katie Scrim on Instagram. You're my bit on the side this week. Is that more blackberry? Katie Scrim. Mwah. 
I love you all. I love cross stitchers. They're just the best. Um, I believe that is that. Um, looks like I'm at about an hour and 20 minutes. I don't know. I've had to stop and restart so many times that I don't have a accurate idea of how long I've been nattering. I also got this chart from Dee's 20 Stitches. I picked this up at Stitch North. This is done on um, Jody's Linen, Red Cedar. Toonies, because Canada. Also forgot to mention that I met this freaking legend. Yeah, I met Pam from Keep On Stitching and Ellen Chester from With My Needle. That was epic. If you have any questions, just leave me a comment in the in the box below, um, and I'll be happy to kind of let you know about any information about any of the whips or projects that I have. Um, I'll try to put as much stuff in the drop down box, but you know things things go missing all the time, or things get forgotten all the time. They go missing from my brain. I saw Emily in Stitch in May too on the road and stitching in MN, Tracy. So lots of people on the road, Betsy. So many friends, lucky girl. <sighs> if I forgot that I met you and I forgot that you gave me a present, just slap, I'm a bad person. I'm a distracted person. Okay, so that's it. I will try not to make it so long if you even care. Uh, just for me because this is this has been overwhelming <laughs> overwhelming amount of stuff overwhelming amount of stuff that i've forgotten um haven't given you a life update because that will just take another hour and uh, nobody got time for that so i will leave you with my thanks and my appreciation uh especially for anyone who has purchased uh, a maximum cross stitch design uh, in this last year that i've been doing this crazy little side hustle. Um, I am so honored that you will that you will give me money for doing something like this and um, it's I'm very humbled by it all so thank you so much. Um, until next time uh, happy stitching and rock on. Is this, is this a tomato? I think it's a tomato. Is this a tomato?